Hi, welcome to our latest video. In this video, we're going to discuss how to use your Realtek HD audio device to play FAIR with screen recording software. Now, if you're watching this, you probably already know what FRAPS is. If not, I'll go ahead and tell you real quick. FRAPS is a real small screen recording software that you can use to run benchmarks on your PC while you're playing games, record game footage, and take screenshots of your games. It's a pretty neat software. It's free to use. If you use the free version, you will get a watermark across uh, the top edge of the video uh, pointing you to the FRAPS website. If you pay for the license, you can remove that watermark on future videos that you make. The reason this video came about is I decided I wanted to record some video footage playing a game with some friends online. After recording several minutes of video footage, when I went back later to edit, I realized we had no in-game audio whatsoever. Uh, you know, granted that's my fault and I should have did a test run prior to setting up Fraps, uh, but I didn't, you know, launched Fraps, went into record, and, you know, we went to town playing the game. By using the default settings in both the Realtek HD Device Manager and Fraps, this is essentially the type of footage that I was recording. See? Decent footage, but no audio. So after doing some digging around through other YouTube videos, other forum posts, trying a bunch of things that worked, some did, some didn't, I could get pretty close. At one point I was able to get only my microphone audio, but no actual in-game audio as far as uh, you know background music or actual sound effects from the game. Uh, so after playing around with it, after <laughs> a lot of frustration, I was able to cobble together a solution for my PC. I hope this is able to help somebody else out. Uh, but essentially what we need to do is when you launch Fraps, click on the Movies tab, you'll notice there's not a whole lot here as far as sound settings go. Uh, you want to make sure that record sound is checked. Uh, by default, it says detect best sound input is selected, and it's selected the Realtek HD digital input. I don't have anything connected to a digital input on my PC, so I wanted to select use Windows input. One of the issues I had before finding the solution for this was using the Windows input it didn't gain me anything either. In order to change the settings we need to change, we need to go into the Realtek HD Audio Manager. The first time you launch it, you may be taken to the Sound Effects tab. You want to click on the Mixer tab, and you want to make sure that the Realtek HDA primary input is selected by default. I originally had the Realtek HD digital input selected by default. Not sure how that happened. I don't remember changing that. Who knows? Uh, but we're essentially going to swap over here to the Realtek HDA primary input. Okay. Now you may want to scroll through the output settings first. You'll have your little arrows here. If you want to just make sure that they match what I've got, uh, you may have pretty good luck. Uh, you know, I've got the front green enabled and turned up somewhat. Rear blue is turned off and all the way down. Front pink in is on and three quarters of the way up. Rear pink in is muted and all the way down. Uh, rear gray, rear orange in, rear black in are all turned all the way down, but they aren't enabled. Rear green in is all the way down and muted. And CD volume is all the way up. Uh, don't ask me why I have those set the way they are. They've been that way for quite some time. Honestly, I don't remember why they're set that way. We want to focus on the Realtek HDA primary input. I have muted the CD volume, the line volume, the mic volume. Enabled stereo mix. Once your mutes and enables are set that way, click on the mixer toolbox wrench button down here in the corner. You want to click the check mark to enable recording multi-streaming. Then you want to click OK. Now, if this is the first time you've changed this, you will probably get a box saying that some changes have been made. Uh, just go ahead and click OK through that. And we'll come back over here to Fraps. Now we want to check Use Windows Input. You'll notice it changed Realtek HDA Primary Input. After doing this, I was able to get sound in not only Fraps, but also in Bandicam, which is another screen recording software I've been playing with. Uh, but you could get both of those to work properly, which is great. Uh, as an example, uh, check out the following footage. Reloading. Reloading. Shoot 
this thing off my back! As you can see, the setting changes worked, which is awesome. Uh, hopefully in the near future I will be able to bring forth a couple videos reviewing both Fraps and Bandicam and maybe a couple other screen capture software programs. In the meantime, be sure you visit our website at techiesmarts.com. Uh, be sure you check out the video description below in ways to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. As always, have a great day and thanks for watching.